you two as a duo in Thank this because you. you play kind of an awkward lawyer. Yeah, it's a real and stretch. A real <laughs> stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and Eleanor, you're like a confident Instagrammer, like an influencer. Then that's we should very say. nicely put. Well, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> but you know, it must have been hard to keep a serious face because the comedy between you is brilliant. Thank you. It is. It well, it was very hard. There were many moments where. There was one particular scene. Gabby goes on a on a fertility journey, oh. and uh, there's mm. a an unlikely friend who comes to the rescue. <laughs> and, uh, just not quite sure who that could be, yeah. but uh, yeah, any any scene that involves the word thwack is a. Uh, Pretty hard to get them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thwack. Yes, you have to watch to find out the context. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there was the word thwack that just... I haven't heard the word thwack no, for a well, long exactly. time. Yeah. Yeah. You don't hear it often. No. And when you do, when you're trying to keep a straight face, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever heard it, to be honest with you. But yeah. <laughs> um, now, Stephen, your mum and dad actually are in the series, but yes. didn't quite end up getting the role uh, that they were hoping for. Well, yeah. I did give them a couple of lines in this series. Mm. And I'd like to take this opportunity now, mum and dad, if you're watching, Aww. I've had to cut the dialogue. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Savage. You're still in the screen. You're still on screen. Uh, your faces are seen, oh. but people won't hear your voices. Wow. I thought it's best to say it now and not raise it to say the Christmas dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. no! That is brutal. I see. Like there one, no one has any favoritism when no. I'm when I'm the boss. Clearly. Like Whatever's it. best for the show. Yeah. And if I have to thwack them out of it, then. <laughs> well, one thing that did make the cut was a mention of a favourite television show. Let's yes, take a this listen. morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't got that kind of money, come on, let's go. I want to get home for the one show. Bublé's on tonight, and it's not even Christmas. Hey! <laughs> we do like a visit from Michael Bublé. Yes, yeah. nice, you do. Um, Richard E. Grant, who is fantastic, plays your dad in this, Eleanor. Was he, was he like a father figure on set? Because he always comes across as such a nice man. He's just such a gentleman. It's always so much fun uh, working with him, having him on set. His stories are wild, but he's just great. He's really great. And they, they go on a real journey this season. And yeah, it's wonderful to see how that, that relationship translates. Mm -hmm. um, you, Stephen, told us previously about having to convince uh, Christopher Walken to come onto the series. You just saw yes. a clip of him there. Oh, yeah. Uh, the great Christopher Walken. <laughs> yes. Uh, going on to, I think it was series two, was it, that he, that he was in? With he's, he's been in from the beginning. He's been in from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but he apparently convinced you to take him on a tour around London, was it? Well, it was, it was more exciting than London. Christopher had always wanted to go to Stonehenge. Stonehenge. And, uh, you know, Perfect. he's pushing 80 and he'd never been. And I was able to make that dream come true. There Look we at are. this. Look at him, he's like a competition winner. <laughs> <laughs> that is an <laughs> unbelievable photo. Look at that, it right? Is it is a brilliant po uh, yeah, photo. Yeah, so we, the base, but we sort of went there and it was kind of after hours, so the sun was setting over over Stonehenge so and, um, and we had a tour guide and, and Christopher said, may I touch the stones? And she was so British, she went, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know, isn't it? That it doesn't it matter is. if you've won an Oscar and you're no. an icon, movie icon, you don't get to touch the stones. No favouritism, yeah. absolutely love it. Fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, the Outlaws returns to BBC One and iPlayer tomorrow at nine o'clock. Now it's time to venture into a galaxy far, far away to talk about the new Star Wars series. You're very excited, aren't I you? Indeed. The Acolyte. Uh, in just a moment, we'll be joined by two of its stars, but first, this is why it's one of the most...